Rainbow Octopus is a game for two to eight players, and we're going to show you selected pieces of gameplay now. So everyone's going to get three tentacle cards to start with. Object of the game is to get all seven color tentacles onto your octopus. You can only play number to number. They're all the same, so this is a wild tentacle. Oh. So all seven colors and your wild. Uh, if you have an X, it means it's always that color, but you can play it onto any arm. So it's kind of like just a number wild. Mm -hmm. uh, first one to get all seven plus their wild on the octopus wins. This is just the basic version, so we are not playing with octo powers, which is the other side. Oh. <laughs> giving three to everyone to start with. Of the three, plus your wild is your starting hand. Here. So. Play is dictated by tied cards. Every time a tied card is flipped by the person who's starting the round, they'll read it to the table, and that tie affects everyone for the round. So it'll say anything from like draw one, play one, to steal a tentacle from the octopus on your left, to anything. Just follow the instructions. It goes the low goals, high. The goal is to get all eight tentacles. All seven colors plus your wild down. Yep. All right. Let's just pretend that. We had the green X in spot 7, and for some reason you have to play a 7. If you play this, the green X goes away. Ah, uh, so you cannot replace. Right. I mean, you, you can, can replace, replace, but it gets discarded. Because similarly, like, you might have put a green uh, X there, but you also had a green 2. So, like, in that case, replacing the green X is good, Helps because you. you're... Ah, uh, okay. So, you can only put things where the numbers match. But uh, you have to end with one of every color in the um, right. wild. Um, last thing to know, wilds can never be lost, stolen, or traded. And if you have one down and you replace it, it bumps wherever you want it to go. Everyone can take one of the cards in your hand and put it on your octopus now. Everyone starts with a tentacle down. Okay. Mm. First, hide. Pool water. So everyone will draw one tentacle card, and then you will play one tentacle card, but it has to be a cool color. So green, blue, indigo, or violet. So I'm going to draw one, and I'm going to play one. Drawing. Playing. Remember, if you don't have one, you can always play your wild as if it were a cool color. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this moves. Now I'm first. High tight card. Strong current. Draw three. Play two. Draw one tentacle card and choose to either play it or uh, to play it on your octopus or another octopus. Hmm. So you guys like help someone out? Or whatever you draw, you have to play, and it's your choice whether you want to play it on yourself or hurt someone else with it. Meaning, like if I draw a blue four, which I don't necessarily want, I can dump it here, get rid of your red, and I give you a duplicate. Mm. Or you could look at it as helping us. Or I could be nice. <laughs> yeah, you can be nice. Well, I can only be nice with this. Be <laughs> <laughs> nice to bring up. Play one tentacle card on the octopus to your left. Alright, starting with you. So you can be nice. Mm -hmm. Mean. Calm current. Draw two tentacle cards. Play one tentacle card. Thank you. Alright, next. Shark below. Everyone draw one tentacle card. Play one tentacle card with a value of 4 or lower. If you can't play a card with a value of 4 or lower, you must discard one tentacle card from your octopus. Gameplay will continue until a winner is determined by having all seven colors plus the wild card on their octopus.